Hey everyone, Cypress 12 is out, which is exciting. There are three main features which you should be looking out for, and I'm going to show them to you. Uh, so let's take a look into the code. Uh, you see that I have a failed test here. So I still have Cypress 11 uh, installed on this version. And the number one feature uh, that Cypress 12 will bring is how querying of the DOM elements is going to work. Uh, so in this test, I'm pressing a search button and then I'm searching a query. And then I'm searching for an element with the text ABC. So what happens as I type into my application, the app is going to trigger three requests, A, B, and C. Of course, what Cypress is going to be doing is when it finishes typing these three characters, it will go straight to my get command. Uh, in the get command, it's going to find three elements or three result items. And then the next command is EQ0, which is going to filter out the first element. Uh, so as you can see, the assertion here is failing because I'm trying to assert that the text of that element is going to ABC, but it will be uh, the text A. So what happens in Cypress 11 and previous versions is that when you use the EQ command or when you filter whatever query you do is it will keep the reference to that element. But as these requests give you the response, what's going to happen is that those elements are going to be re-rendered. Essentially what happens, the reference to that first element is going to disappear because our application is going to uh, delete all the elements and then render them again. So if you ever saw uh, Cypress uh, error, something like detach from DOM, this was causing it. So let's go ahead now and close Cypress and install version 12. So I'm going to do that with command npm install Cypress and then the latest version. I get some warnings from some plugins that haven't been updated, which is okay. So let's open Cypress, choose Chrome, and I'm going to run my test again. And now, as you can see, my test is passing. So the problem that we had before is now away because when we use EQ command, it is actually going to re-query our DOM elements until the assertion passes. In other words, in version 11, shoot would make only the previous command retry, but in version 12, shoot is going to make the whole chain of commands retry. Now there is some things in the documentation about how that retry actually works. So it's not going to work for any chain, but as soon as you are searching for elements in the DOM, this should be very helpful. Let's now take a look into the feature number two. So this one is called test isolation. So I'm going to choose my test and you can see this test on the left side. I actually have two tests here. In the first one, I'm opening the app. And in the second one, I'm creating a board in my application. Now, this is not a good test design because if my first test fails, the second one will fail as well. Ideally, you should have your test isolated from one another. Cypress makes sure to isolate everything. That means deleting cookies, local storage, basically refreshing your whole browser while keeping it open. Additionally, with Cypress version 12, it's going to visit a blank page, essentially sort of hitting a refresh button or going back to the blank page as if you were opening a new tab. So in my test, if I were to fix this, I would put my visit command in a before each hook. That way, whatever dependency I have for the test happens before my test and I can add as many tests as I need. Let's now take a look at the third feature, which is origin. That's coming for general availability. So you can start using it. It's no longer a flag and let's see what that means. So in my test, I want to click on the link that I have at the bottom of this page. This will take you to my homepage. You can check it out by the way. But normally if I were to open this page in Cypress, that would mean that I would get an error because I'm crossing an origin. Now this can make your life difficult, especially if you're using some kind of login service. So you need to leave your application and then come back. 
This is no longer a limitation in Cypress. So let's take a look. After I click on the link, I'm going to be taken to another origin. If I want to interact with that page, what I'm going to do is to use command CY origin. And as a first argument, I'm going to type in the origin location. The second argument is going to be a callback. And this one is going to contain all of the commands that I want to execute on the other origin. That would be philipreads.com. So let's say I want to open my latest block. So I'm going to type CY contains to select the test. I'm going to click on the link and then make sure that the location is going to be equal to the proper link. So that's going to be the name of the block in kebab case. So let me fix that. And let's save my test. And as you can see, I can interact with the page with no problem. So this is really useful if you're using some kind of logging. So what if I want to go back and maybe hit my back key twice? So let's go back and then go back, which will take me back to my application, right? So if I want to interact with my application now, I move out of this function, this origin function, and interact with my application as if nothing happened. So I'll select my element, type in text, hit enter key, and then test the location once again. Path name should equal board slash one. Save my whole test. And as you can see, test is jumping back and forth between different origins with no problem. Version 12 is already available, so you can download it and start using it Happy testing, everyone.